video will provide an overview of non-formal adult education. During this video, please reflect on the following analysis questions. How is non-formal education defined? What are the main characteristics of non-formal adult education? What are some examples and settings of non-formal adult education? And who delivers non-formal adult education in Canada? Coombs and Ahmed define non-formal education as any organized, systematic, educational activity carried on outside the framework of the formal system to provide selected types of learning to particular subgroups in the population, adults as well as children. More broadly, it can be defined as learning outside the formal school, vocational training, college or university system, taking place through planned activities involving some form of instruction. Non-formal education became part of the international discourse on educational policy in the late 1960s and early 1970s. There was a realization that educational growth and economic growth were not necessarily in step, and that jobs did not emerge directly as a result of educational inputs. Many countries were finding it difficult to pay for the expansion of formal education, and there was a growing feeling that formal educational systems had adapted too slowly to the socio-economic changes around them. During the 1970s, in much of the Third World, non-formal education became a more frequent alternative for adults who were either unserved or poorly served by schools, or who needed to supplement their schooling they already received. In these instances, non-formal education often assisted in bringing educational services to a rapidly growing population that could not be adequately addressed through formal schooling. According to Coombs and Ahmed, non-formal adult education is separate from state-sanctioned schooling, but is pre-planned and systematic, and leads learners to toward a specific goal. Non-formal adult education does not typically lead to a formalized credential, so it is sometimes considered less credible than formal adult education. Non-formal adult education is often led by someone with more experience, perhaps an advanced student, a volunteer, or an adult educator. This person may or may not have formal training as an educator. Non-formal learning is intentional from the learner's perspective, and in many cases no particular education or professional qualifications are required for participating in non-formal adult education. Non-formal adult education may be provided in the workplace and through the activities of civil society organizations and groups such as voluntary or non-profit organizations, trade unions and political parties, or private learning providers not authorized by government agencies to offer credit. Programs can include literacy and basic education for adults, political and trade union education, and various kinds of educational work linked with developmental initiatives, including agriculture extension and health education. Non-formal adult education can also be provided through organizations or services that have been set up to complement formal approaches, such as arts, music, and sports classes. A significant proportion of non-formal adult education and training in Canada is work-related. Employers are both major providers of training and major sources of funding and support for non-formal adult education in Canada. A 2009 survey of Canadian colleges and universities found that less than 5% of their student population was enrolled in non-formal adult learning programs. At universities, the top two non-formal program types were professional development and business leadership, and the types of non-formal adult learner programs most commonly offered by colleges were contract training and workplace training. Please reflect on the following synthesis questions. What are the unique characteristics of non-formal adult education? Why is non-formal adult education traditionally held in less regard and considered less credible than formal adult education? How does non-formal adult education contribute to the goal of lifelong learning? And what is your experience with non-formal adult education and how does it compare to other learning experiences that you have encountered?